everyone. This is Debbie with Plan Do Repeat. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'm so glad that you did. And if this is your first time. Welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be um, following a prompt from a group on Facebook that I follow and I was excited about the prompts and I thought you know what the heck I'll join in and so I thought I'd carry y'all along with me and see what happens um, right now all we have for the first week of um, January is the prompt for um, uh, making uh, the the first prompt is to make a junk journal cover okay and you have to make uh, make it with um, this is from them right here it's uh, it's from the mixed media Emporium and it is uh, create and decorate the cover this week's challenge is to create the junk uh, the journal cover please do not go any further than this we will be continuing with this prompt throughout the month okay so uh, I will link um, the the group uh, below and I will also link the two um, uh, co-owners of the group below also that you so you can follow them on on their YouTube they have a prompt each week and they do a video to show you how to do it so it's really really fun and, and exciting so I'm gonna be using uh, these materials you're supposed to use um, junk <laughs> and these I have been saving for a very very long time I think they were um, in like a shirt that was bought for like a Christmas present for I don't know at least 10 years ago so um, I've been saving them and this one is even stiffer um, but I only had two so um, I'm going to use these for the front and back and then I'm going to cut a piece of this for um for the the spine okay and um so for the covers all right um i i've got these this old blue jeans uh, material left from a, a journal that i i covered a long time ago um and these are the pieces that i had left so and they're they're like different colors from different areas of the jeans. So uh, some of them are really dark and some of them are light. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But um, I was thinking if if those don't cover it, I thought maybe I could put like a, um, a pocket on the front as well. Because I saved the pockets. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. All right. So... Um, and if I don't have enough material to cover both the front and the back with blue jeans, then um, I'm also thinking about these. These are old napkins, uh, no, um, hankies um, from a long time ago uh, that I saved because, you know, my husband was going to throw them out and I said, don't you dare. Um, so they are clean, <laughs> but they're, they're not a pretty color. But I was thinking, you know, it's going to be covered anyway. So uh, I think, oh, this one's almost white. Um, so, yeah, I think maybe I will uh, have them have it covered like this and then put the blue jean on top of it, maybe. I don't know. Um, we'll see. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, cut the material. Um to fit the front and um, and cut this to to make the middle and then I'll be back okay I'll be right back okay so I had to back pedal a little bit I got out my seam ripper and I was pulling out seams trying to get as much material as I could and I had to I had to step back and say, okay, I don't have enough material. This is what I ended up with, and it's not enough. So, um, 
What I'm going to do is, this is a shirt that my husband donated to me. He was going to throw it away, and I said, don't do that. So uh, it, it had seen its last days, but it's a really big shirt, and it looks like blue jeans, but it's, uh, it's really soft cotton because it's, like, really old. And I love these buttons. Aren't they gorgeous? So um, uh, plan B, <laughs> because, you know, um, that's what we do. That's how we roll. Um, that's why we are in it like this. Um, so yeah, um, so I just want to let you know, instead of just started, uh, I almost started cutting this up and I thought, no, wait a minute. I need to show you that this really is something that my, my husband <laughs> wanted to get rid of. And I said, no, don't you dare. So, uh, I've been waiting for uh, a couple of years to figure out what to do with this. And it, it, it looks like blue jeans, but it's not. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna cut this to cover this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the shirt cut out approximately. It's not precise, um, but I wanted to... Um, make sure I could get it glued down first and then I can uh, trim around the edges if, if I feel I need to. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, I've got the two pieces of cardboard that I have from the, the um, shirt. It's, it's a little bit, just a tiny bit thicker than a, um, a cereal box, but not much, <laughs> not much at all. Okay, so, but I, I was thinking maybe this is gonna be too thin but no, I, I don't know. I think the material will give it some, some weight. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna go with this. <laughs> it's not rocket science. I like to say that a lot. So um, I've got these approximately quarter of an inch apart from each other. I need to have room for them to bend, okay? And I'm using um, tacky glue and I, uh, because I have a couple of little containers of it and I need to use it up. So I figured, why not? So that's what I'm doing. And it's been sitting out since I've been trying to do all of this. So it's really gooey and sticky. And so this is going to be fun. I might not, maybe I should add some water to it. I don't know. <laughs> Look how thick this is. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. It's kind of old anyway. That's why I wanted to um, use it up. It was really stiff. I'm glad I'm using it up. I, I must have had these bottles here for at least five years or so. Um, I've, I've been using the um, a little, a little um, bottle and I've been refilling it with the bigger bottle so that it wasn't take up so much space. But I haven't been using it uh, in quite a while because I, uh, my, preferences, my preferences changed so I haven't been using it. So, yeah. All right. So let me get this on here. Um, I think you could probably use just about any kind of glue at this point. That's why I'm using this. I'm just trying to get this as tacky as possible. Okay, so I'm going to stick this down right here. Okay. All right. All right.
right and then next I'm just going to glue these two pieces I may have to speed this up because I don't want you sitting here for an hour watching me do this Okay, get this on here the right way. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick uh, some heavy stuff on top of here and let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'll come through and I'll, I'll even this out and then glue it on. All right. And I still saved um, the blue jean pocket. I thought it might be cute. You know having that on the front I don't know I'm not sure uh, I could just put like one of these on here instead um, I don't know we'll we'll see <laughs> but I thought that the blue jeans were such a pretty color and that's why I wanted to stick with it um, and I'm thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and I, I have this left over from a, um, a project I did a while back I, I tea stained this um, and I had quite a bit left. So I've been pe using pieces of it um, as trim and stuff, but um, I still have quite a bit left. So I thought, well, I can use that. And it looks really good next to the, uh, next to the blue jean, don't you think? I think so. And maybe some lace. I have some lace that I, um, that I dyed at the same time. Yeah. I'm finally being able to use up my stuff. Yay! Okay, so um, this is fun. I'm really glad that I decided to follow these prompts. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so this is the next day, and it dried and it was fine uh, but I decided that the the cardboard that I used from the the shirt um, packaging was just a little bit too thin so I looked through my stash and I found some uh, cereal box and so I matched it as best I could 
and stuck it down. <laughs> so uh, you just use what you got and that's what I'm doing. Um, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and follow through with um, what I was going to do this morning. So uh, I think it's, it's pretty good and stuck and after I do the rest of it I can let it all dry. So what I really need to do is um, is cut the edges on this. So basically I'm just gonna go through, I don't know, can you see? Let me make sure. Yes, you can. Okay, so I wanted to just cut this just a little bit because I it's really too, too, um, too fat on the edges. And it's okay to um, to not be pretty. <laughs> so that edge is fine. Um, the bottom edge is good too. The top edge is a little bit too rounded for me. Let me stand up. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and. Cut it more straight, but not not very straight, because <laughs> I'm freehanding. All right, so that looks about right, and then this side looks a little bit, just a wee bit too much. So I'm gonna cut this as well. Okay, that looks good. I, I like the way this looks. And so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and um, glue the edges up. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to cut right here and here. Let me turn this around. And cut this side. Okay. All right. So this can go up like this. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Still using the same tacky glue that I used to uh, glue the cardboard on because I need to use up what I have. the bottom. This glue is almost past its expiration date. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm glad that I'm using it. I've had it for a very long time. So let me put this on here. That looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to Put a little dab on each of the corners. I don't know if you can see this or not. Bring this over. Whew. This glue is really thick. Okay, let me stick that back there, and I'm going to stick this down on all the corners. I hope you can see. Let me bring this more into focus, I think. Okay, and then this one. Okay. All right, then I'm going to glue these down like this. 
Now a lot of people do something different with the corners. They they cut some out because this is excess material. I'm not going to do that because I'm not trying to make it pretty. I'm just going to be making it functional. This is not going anywhere but right here in my studio. So This glue is really, really clumpy. And I'm going to do each side at a time instead of all at once. I'm going to put some glue underneath this fold so that it will stay. go okay and now I'm going to do this one oh you know what I have my little heater on and I'm sorry if you may if you heard that that running I just thought of that it's it's really cold here today in Middle Tennessee I don't know where you're at uh, but I think we're not gonna get above the 30s today so um, and I'm out here in my studio that doesn't have any heat or air uh, it's not part of the uh, the main building uh, for central air so I'm uh, I'm winging it <laughs> okay there we go I'm just so glad I was able to use this blue jean material all right so now I'm going to do this edge you can see this now you see this edge it's not a point I'm okay with that edges don't always have to be squared okay all right so now I'm going to do this edge Now I'm doing this late, uh, so today is Sunday, and the new prompt came out today, and it's for making the um, the signatures for in here, and so I'm really excited about it. I had already thought about how I wanted to do my signatures, and it turns out <laughs> that um, that Rena and Kylie, uh, I mean Nina and Kylie. Um, did it almost exactly the way I was going to do it. So that's pretty cool. I think we all read each other's minds in that respect. That's pretty awesome. So uh, I'm going to be doing it slightly different from how they did theirs, which is, I think, expected because, you know, we're not, you know, mindless robots. We're going to do things, you know, the way that we like. Uh, that makes us individuals and artists. So... Um, I'm excited to show y'all what my um, my signatures are going to look like. That's going to be the the next video for this. I'm going to be following all the prompts exactly how they 
put them in the Facebook group so uh, y'all can follow along with them and then see how I interpret it. I think this is going to be so much fun. I love doing these kind of things. I call them challenges, um, but they're calling them prompts, which is cool. Um, put some on here okay folding folding okay Let me turn it around, show you what it looks like. These are some of the spots that showed the glue through. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm also going to be putting some stuff on, um, on the front uh, to decorate it. But I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is just about dry. Um, I think the material is just a little bit damp underneath, but I think it's gonna, it's good to go. So uh, I love how it feels now. It's it's uh, stiffer than it was, so I'm glad about that. I've got some some uh, glue spots on here. I'm okay with that. In fact, I love it. It means that it was made with love. So. Um, I need to uh, put something in the middle here um, so I'm going to put some of this material down the middle just like this and I'm going to use the same stuff that I've been using let me get my my, uh, my brush out and I'm going to go ahead and just start gluing uh, and I may speed up so that you don't have to watch the slow process okay Okay, I'm going to have to let this dry. But I can go ahead and put these on because they're going to be wet too. <laughs> so, um, uh, it's just uh, some paper. I don't know where it came from. And I... Um, glued up the edges with gathered twigs along the edge and I'm gonna put them like just like this like that yep okay I'm going to try to use as much of this glue as I can. I don't normally use this kind of glue on my paper because it will make it warp, but I'm just going to use it up. <laughs> so.
this is just a tad too far over. I'm going to see if I can pull it over just a little bit. There. Yeah, it was right in the bend and it wasn't going to work because it was going to uh, fold the, the paper. All right, I'm really happy with how it is right now. And now I'm going to do this one. I don't know if I have, I don't have enough. I'm not going to use that. I um, guess I'm going to use my uh, Fabri-Tac. I mean, uh, uh, Fabri-Fix. Some kind of fabric something. <laughs> This is what I normally use. I love it. It's awesome. And it's wonderful for sticking things onto fabric. And you can reposition if you want. So I really like that. Let's see. Yeah. It's not in the bend, so I'm a happy camper when it comes to that. This is awesome. I really like how this looks. I went back and forth about what kind of papers I should put in here and I was flipping through some paper pads and I saw this and I went back and I went oh you know I'm not really a pink person but I really like how it looks next to this blue isn't it pretty I like it okay so I have to let this uh, dry this this is uh, as far as I can go so I'll see you uh, when it's dry. Okay, so it's been a couple of days and I've done more things to it um, because I didn't want you to have to watch this for uh, so long. It's already, I think, 30 minutes. So um, what I did was I added another um, uh, wrap on the outside, just like I did the inside. It's nice and sturdy now. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, I went through and I put holes through it with uh, my chomper thingy and I put grommets. Um, remember I said that I was excited how um, uh, Nina and Kylie were um, going to be doing the, um, the signatures. Well, I had decided that I was going to do like a, a traveler's notebook. And so I was so excited that they decided to use um, elastic bands as well. So. Uh, elastics. So this is what I'm doing. Um, I did stick the um, the um, pocket from my blue jeans. This is still wet. I stuck some uh, leftover lace, um, two kinds of lace on here. Um, I sprayed it with distress spray that I have um, from Tim Holtz. All right. And um, this is just uh, um, gesso that I stuck on this. I don't even know what this is from, but um, it was the right size, so I just stuck it in some gesso. It's still wet. Oops. All right. Um, so that's what I've done so far. And now I'm going to string this, and I thought I'd bring you along. Um, this is the elastic that I get that I have. It's from Amazon, but it doesn't have a brand name, so I'm sorry. Uh, so there you go. 
And so what all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, start uh, stringing this. And I'm going to put four strings in here. I'm going to have this a little bit left over here for um, for tying it off. Bring it over next to it. Okay, and I'm popping it back up. Okay, this is what the back side looks like so far. It's just these like right here. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to be sticking this back in. through the hole so it's doubled so now I have my two right here then I'm going to bring it back up and then I'm going to tie this off and this will be the four strands okay easy peasy I haven't done this in quite a while Always get this backwards. Okay, see, I have two strands here and two strands here and four strands here. So I just cut it, and there you go. Next, we're going to be doing uh, putting in the um, signatures, and I've already started collecting things that I'm going to be putting in here. I love how this is looking. Um, I went ahead and made um, a tassel for here as well. Let me stick this through and show you. I made this with all leftover stuff, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, these are pearls that were on a necklace that I bought at a yard sale and I had to restrand them. I um, glued it to the end. I'm gonna cut this off when it's dried completely. This is from a necklace. Um, and I just stuck some uh, beads on there. Uh, these are beads that I made myself from paper, paper beads. Uh, let's see. I've got some stuff from a bracelet that I tied onto here. I've got a couple of keys or one key. I'm not sure. I just went through and just stuck a whole bunch of stuff on there. <laughs> but I think it looks really lovely next to it, don't you think? I think it's really pretty. Uh, not overbearing. So there we go. I hope y'all like this. Uh, I'm going. I'm really excited about um, getting the. Um, the signatures together so that we can uh, start playing in here. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, peace out.